Girl, it's what I heard. Allegedly, it's just the word. Allegedly, it's on the street. Allegedly, I sing to the beat. Allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly, lee, lee, lee. allegedly. On today's episode of the Huzzy Hour, Larsa Pippen and Marcus Jordan spill their tea. Let's see what they have to say. Oh God, hashtag Larkus. I want to throw up. She feels like everyone should have separation anxiety that's in love. If you love someone, you should miss them. What kind of dysfunctional crap? Marcus said, you know, we compliment each other so well when we're together. You mean she gives you relevance? I mean, yeah, you Michael Jordan's son, but we don't care. Girl, you ain't gonna show your relationship on Housewives of Miami. You gotta get your coin on here first. You're that broke? Jesus. So they met four years ago at a party in L.A. while she was hanging out with Fat Joe. So he finessed a way for everybody to get into his father's super secret private section. Oh, Lord, so you a real daddy's boy. Because it wasn't your section. Everybody wanted to see your pappy. Not you. Not you. So they started texting, and Larsa thought he was the homie at first and was telling all of her girls that they should date him. Oh, Lord, so it's just going to be another 20-something minutes of lies. Larsa's lies. And Marcus's clout chase. And then someone took a photo of them while they were just friends, and they said we were denying our relationship and we were just friends. Oh, this is awful. So he made the first move by inviting her to the Bahamas on his daddy's dime. She had him under Mark Jacob so that Scotty wouldn't find out and be a pissy pippin because she was still negotiating her settlement a few years ago. So they finally got together when he came to Miami for two full days because, you know, she's always in L.A. and he was going to Orlando, so they just kept missing like ships in the night. The eye roll, the eye roll of this. Y'all in your late 40s acting like you're 20-something superstar jet setters. Y'all are not Beyonce or Jay-Z. So she thought he was bringing a bunch of guys with him, and she said, oh, I should get all the girls together for dinner. You sound like a madam. Boop, boop, did him, dad, a madam T. Boop, boop, did him, dad, a madam T. Boop, boop, did him, dad, a madam T. And she passed, and she passed that penis around. So she realized this was a relationship she might have to go to war for, and she thought he was fine, but she just wasn't sure if it was worth the risk. Sleeping with the son of your husband's arch nemesis. So they were... So they were still getting press while they were just friends, so it was very difficult to tell people because you had been lying to the press all this time. But Larsa, your friends don't know you lie and scheme. They must be very unobservant. So she said she normally doesn't bring guys around her kids. You've been divorced for 10 minutes. Scotty and you were still living together. You just got your house this season, Heffa. Larsa was afraid that she was going to be single forever because there wasn't one funny, smart, cute with a billionaire pappy to piss off your coot. He's enjoying playing a backseat role with her kid because you're here for the fucking, not the family. Larsa dated two guys with kids and she hated it. Larsa was asking herself, why would I do it? For the attention, the same reason you do OnlyFans. So he was a party boy at first and wasn't looking for something this serious. When we first started dating, we were trying to keep it on the low, hiding from cell phone flashes in the club. Didn't nobody give a fuck. Y'all hired those paparazzi. Marcus Jordan, nobody would recognize your ass. I'm sorry, I'm not running around. Oh my God, it's Michael Jordan's son. So he never wanted to be on the show. Oh, he has been on the show. See, I didn't watch half the season because it got boring. He said he got along with everybody. I mean, they're all drunks. They're not mean drunk, so you'll be cool. So what's a regular Tuesday night for Heffa Pippin? I mean, I imagine it's like everybody else's Tuesday. She got kids, so she's probably looking up in their face. She got to eat something. She might order something a little higher in than us at her nice apartment. But that that's about it. Oh, she cooks for him on Tuesdays. And then they watch TV. He's the TV kind of sore. Okay, so you have boring Tuesday nights like the rest of us. 
This ain't giving me separation anxiety, and this isn't personal. This is a PR storyline that's, quite frankly, a yawn. An Angela yawn. Because it's the same crap she crams down our throat on growing up hip-hop. They spend a lot of time together all day. Ooh. Larsa, why are you trying to be 17 again? I thought we were supposed to learn the truth at 17. And aren't you one of those high school girls with clear skin smiles who married young and then retired? Retire, Heffa. We don't need to see you on Miami or listen to you on this. Oh, God. When you're in one bathroom and I'm in the other, we're texting each other. Y'all can't shit alone. That's unhealthy. She wants him to go on the cast trip to Palm Beach. She'd feel better if he's there. Three days in, he told her he loved her. Oh, God. Th only four more minutes of this garbage. I mean, if this is your first episode, I, I can't tune in anymore. Can you be platonic friends with someone of the opposite sex will be one of their next topics. Oh, how riveting. Oh, thank God. That was the shit. I will see you soon for Housewives of OC. Now that was agony. That was suffering for my art. Alleged what? Alleged who? Allegedly, Lee, Lee, Allegedly. Don't blame. Don't sue. Allegedly. 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 Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Stop clocking my pussy miles. Bitch, stop clocking my pussy miles. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This ain't your odometer. Not your odometer. Not your odometer. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The brain is small and the gut is fat. Why would you get pregnant with that? When it comes to money, he ain't got it like that. Why would you get pregnant with that? Why would you get pregnant with that? I said a boop, boop, did him, dad him, use a fool. Boop, boop, did him, dad him, he'll screw you. Boop, boop, did him, dad him, don't be a fool. Why would you get pregnant with that? Yeah. Let's get ready for... Ashley's gonna be homeless, 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 homeless. Cause a prenup with a hole in it. Yeah. They say she got less, got less, got less, got less, got less. Than a heifer that was whole in it. Broke, but 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 broke. The Kootens can't you.